Hello and welcome to Library Drawing Party. Today we're going to be drawing these beautiful monarchs. We're going to start with the body of the monarch, which has an oval shape and some pointed tips. I'm using a black tip pen for this. You can use a number two pencil. For the head of the monarch, I'm drawing a half circle and then I'm adding in some feelers. For the wings, I'm going to draw some straight but curved lines and diagonal line and then some backwards S for wings. And then I'm going to have an upward curved line for the veins. And two downward lines for the bottom veins. And then there's a lot of black circles along the edge of the monarch's wings. So I'm going to draw those in. And then I'm going to add in some shading. Then you're going to want to repeat this process on the other side. We have that long curved line, and diagonal line, and then this time it will be an S shape. And you want the wings to mirror each other. So you want it to be about the same height going across and the same width. And let's draw the upper vein. And the two lower veins. Then I'm going to draw my edges and I'm going to draw in those circles. And circles along the rest of the edge. And I'm going to put some more circles along here too. Then I'm going to put the bottom wing with that edge. Then I'm going to do this bottom wing. And then I'm going to draw in those veins. I'm going to fill in the body. So the main part is going to be completely black. And then the edges have a bit of white showing through. So I'm going to do triangle or almost arrow shapes in the bottom. Leave some space for the white. And then I'm going to fill in the very tip. And I'm going to add in some more color. I'm going to fill in the head. Okay, once you're happy with your butterfly, 
And we can move on to our butterfly in the corner. It's going to be the same process. So we're going to draw our oval shape for the body. And since this butterfly is going to be on a curve, this body might be a little bit thinner. And then we'll draw on the curved line of the wings. And we'll draw it on the other side. And then we'll draw a diagonal line. And our S shapes. And these wings might look a little bit thinner than our first wings because we're at an angle. And I'm going to draw the bottom wing. And then I'm going to draw in our circles. And upper vein, upper vein, and the lower veins. And then the under, lower wing. And then draw the head and the feelers, which are coming down investigate the flower it's resting on and fill in the body saving room for those arrows in the bottom Add in some shadow too because this is a little further away. Once you're happy with your butterfly, then you can take your orange and start filling that in. I'll use the side of my pencil for this. You want a nice even base coat. And it can go right over the lines we just drew. Then I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to highlight the veins by adding in some darker orange color and the edges of my wings. This will give it some more visual interest. This will also help bring out that beautiful orange color that these butterflies have. Once you're happy with your butterflies, then you can move on to the flowers in the background. So I'm going to take a red colored pencil to begin with. And I'm going to start working on the petals. So they're going to have these long almost oval shapes with the tips at the edges that are not quite pointed but they do 
thin out on the edge. So I'm just drawing my petal outlines with the red pencil. This one does have a pointed edge. So I'm going to capture that. And so is this one. It's almost like a heart shape. You can do this with your number two pencil, but we're going to be going over the lines a lot. So I'm just going ahead and using my colored pencil. We actually have two flowers here. We have the main flower that the butterfly is resting on and then there's another flower underneath. We want to be mindful of that as we're going along. Then there's a curved petal here. It has a bit of an S shape. And then for the petals underneath, the center point is going to be here. So you want the petals to be gathering around that point. Every flower and butterfly in nature is going to be different. So if yours look different than mine, that's perfectly natural. Okay, and then I want to add in some petals. Because this butterfly is resting on flower that's going to cut off a bit. I'm just going to hint at that. Now I'm going to take my yellow next because I really want the yellow to stand out. So I'm going to put in my yellow highlights first. So they're going to come out from the center of the flower. and go towards the tip. And each petal is going to be slightly different. So you want to make sure you include some variation. Added the highlights for my first flower, then let me add them in for my second flower. I want this center to be very dark, so I'm going to use the full force of my pencil here. And then I'm going to add in my yellow color. It's going to work its way out from the center into the petals. And then there's some yellow in the tips of the petals. I'll add in some yellow in the flower that's getting cut off. Then let's take our red and add in more red color. We're going to be mindful that we go around the highlights. I'm using medium weight, so I'm not putting the full weight of the pencil down, but I do want that color to shine through, so I am going to make sure that we're getting that color nice and bright.
missed some yellow here, so let me go back and add in yellow. As you go along, you can make these adjustments. And don't worry if you don't see something right away. And I'm going to work on my second flower. Now that we have the flowers outlined, let's go in and add some, let's go in and add some leaves. So I'm going to take my dark green. I'm going to add in a stem coming straight down from the main flower. I'm going to add in a stem from the second flower and a stem from the flower that's getting cut off. And then there are some flowers in the distance that we can't even see, so I'm going to add in a stem here. That's going to come off the page. And then there's some stems in the background. And then we have some stems on the side. Let's draw in some leaves. We have a big leaf here. And we have a big leaf here. And we have another leaf over here. And you want your stems to be a little bit darker than these leaves. To differentiate them. And then there's another leaf over here. And a little one peeking out. And then one on the side. One in between. One over here. Another one over here. Some off to the side. And a couple more down here. And I'm leaving my texture from my strokes and my pencil. I want to see that because then it will give the leaves some texture. And there's a dark leaf down here. I'm going to press a little bit harder for that leaf. And I'm going to add a dark leaf here too. And maybe here. And one here. Then I'm going to fill in the background color with green here to show that there's even more vegetation behind these leaves. You can use the side of your pencil for this. This is just to give it some color. 
Then you can take a purple or dark blue. I'm gonna use purple so we get nice contrast between the yellow of the flower and the background. But dark blue will also be a nice contrast between the background and the monarch butterflies. I guess orange and blue are contrasting colors. If you are using purple, just make sure it's a dark purple, like dark violet, or a blue purple, because we want this to be like a nighttime sky. We can just go in and fill in those areas that we didn't color with our green pencil for the vegetation. You can mix blue into the purple too. This will give it a more interesting color. There'll be some variation. And it'll also help blend in any remaining white spots. Now for our flower, I'm going to go back and bring out that yellow color, fill in some of those white gaps from the background, the white of the paper. I'm going to take my red and go over the red in the petals, really lock that color in. I'm going to take some orange and put that in the center of my flower. This will help bring out that orange color of the monarchs. I'm going to go over this a little bit more just to brighten it up a bit. Actually, take some of that background color and just add in a little shadow for our flower petals. And there you have it. That's our monarch butterfly. Thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party. We have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And keep being creative.